Hello friends, I am editing this video while sitting in my Jeep. If, if you hear like a little pitter patter sound, well that's because it's raining and you guys know I have a soft top so you might actually hear the noise of the rain. So Andrew's at karate. I, I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but anyway, that's what he's doing. So I was just sitting in the car waiting for him to be done with his class and I thought I would be productive and edit my video. So this is for hashtag Seize the Day, my monthly collaboration, collage collaboration. And this is an open collaboration and you are welcome to join in any time that you would like. And you do not have to commit to joining in every month. You can just do a collage for the month if you want to. So how it works is each month I will give a prompt and actually I will give a theme uh, aka a hashtag and then frequently I will give prompts that would go with that. Now this month I did not give prompts to go with hashtag seize the day because I felt like the hashtag was I, I felt like everybody could do it without prompts. Um, especially because the, the spelling is very unique. It's hashtag S-E-A-S, -E the day. So a little coded message there, if you will. Now what you're seeing me do here is I had run out of room in my art journals, my collage journals, and I didn't have another one. So I thought I would make one out of uh, trash. And so the only thing that's not trash is the, the fabric cover here. I received that fabric along with much more fabric and some uh, paint chip samples and some magazines and even some tile samples from my friend Carol of California. Carol from California. So thank you so much, Carol. And it's just lovely to have a nice soft cover journal here that I can continue to do my collages in. So you guys see me sewing it together, very simple. I used Amazon packaging, some pages from a magazine that actually I was gonna end up throwing in my recycling bin. And I thought, you know what, why not use them? You see me pressing down with the scissors there. I learned that if you press on your wax thread after you've tied it, it kind of melds the wax together and then that wax thread will not come untied. So squish it down or pinch it if you have usually I use my jewelry pliers and I usually just pinch it but I didn't have them handy and I didn't feel like grabbing them so I just pressed on it with my scissors as you could see so here we are we are getting ready to begin our collage and like I said it sees the day so um, I cut out some images I cut or tore out some images that represent the beach, the ocean, the sea, and all that sort of stuff. So as you watch me assemble this collage, I will tell you why I chose hashtag seize the day, and I will tell you what the, the water means to me. So for me, the ocean, the sea, water, even my swimming pool, it's all very healing for me. Uh, I feel very peaceful when I'm at the beach or when I'm in my pool. It, it just brings me such a sense of peace and calm. And I know it's not like that for everybody. Some people don't really, you know, like the beach that much, but I really, really do. The sound of the ocean is amazing. Uh, the feel of the sand on my feet, it's funny, I can't stand feeling dirt on my feet, like in my house, I have to sweep my floors immediately. But I love it when I'm at the beach. So, like I said, it's just very healing for me, and I've talked about that before in some of my past collages about, you know, when I was a kid and I would go to the beach by myself and just to get away from the chaos that was in my life and all of that. But I'll share, I'll share something, I'll share a few other pieces of new information for you guys about the beach and the ocean and all that. 
So when I went to high school, I joined the swim team. And I'm, I, I joined the swim team because I loved the water <laughs> and I loved swimming. And I, I wouldn't say, you know, when I first started, I was a, a great swimmer. But as I developed, I became quite a good swimmer. And the being on the swim team when I was in high school was very healing for me, actually. It, it really saved me from getting involved with the wrong crowd. Uh, it was a great group of kids. And it also, you know, I, I was able to throw myself into it and it, it helped me to avoid my reality and all the things that eventually I'd have to deal with. <laughs> but it was very good for me. So that's another example of why the water means so much to me. And then we can fast forward a little bit to when I was 26 years old and I gave birth to my son, Andrew. And when I was pregnant with Andrew, I did not know that he had Down syndrome. And so, and he is, he was my first child. And so when I had him, the doctors immediately, you know, sometimes they put the baby on your belly and you do all that. They, they didn't, they, they whisked him away immediately. And I thought, oh no, there, there must be something wrong. And there was a problem in labor and, and we had a little, little issue and which it all ended up, I was able to give birth to him and all that, but you know, we had some scary moments, but anyway, so they, they came to me and they said, after examining him, we believe that your son has Down syndrome. And they, they said, obviously they knew for sure, but they couldn't tell me without getting the chromosomal test, like for sure that he did. I didn't know what Down syndrome was. I had no idea. This was, I'm 26 years old. I, this is new to me. I have no idea. So I asked somebody, well, okay, what does that mean? And, you know, she mentioned there was like a show on TV with a kid with Down syndrome on it, and I had only seen it like one time, so that wasn't really helpful. So Andrew was born, and um, I'm sorry, I'm giving the long story short, but at any rate, when he was born, he had Down syndrome, also Hirschsprung's disease, and also um, he, you know, had to have a um, heart monitor and all that. And then when he was seven days old, he had to have a colostomy bag put on. And so here I had this baby. I'm a new mom and I had this baby and he, he didn't even get out of the ICU until he was three weeks old. So I was this new mom. I didn't know what I was dealing with. We had all these issues and it was really, really excruciatingly difficult for me to go through that. And so once he didn't have to have his heart monitor anymore, and I guess he was probably about four months old, once that time came, then, and he, I would say probably about the time he was about six months old, I would take him to the beach, and I would even put him in like a little, um, oh, I don't even remember, like playpen, <laughs> and with an umbrella over him, of course, so that I could just be near the water and just, get away just you know, he was with me but it just brought me peace and it brought me healing and I needed that so bad at the time and it was just really hard for me to cope with my situation at that time and I, he and I went to the beach like once a week and that way I could I could just relax and um, so you know that was another example of how the water, the ocean, the sea, all of that um, helped me, has helped me heal throughout my whole life. Eventually you will notice that I will attach a piece of blue paper to the right side of the collage. And it says this, the sea is a mysterious and wonderful place. It is relaxing and energizing all at once. It is my healing place. It always gives me what I need. I hope to give it some of what it needs in return. And then on my little piece of paper, I put hashtag beach cleanup. And most of you guys know that I recently did a beach cleanup with Amanda and Nick. And um, we have done beach cleanup in the past. And I feel that 
you know, if that's the little thing that I can do to try to give back to the place that has brought me so much healing in my life, then that's a really small price for me to pay. And the last thing I'd like to mention during this time of collage is I used to do triathlon. And if any of you don't know what that is, that is the swim, bike, and run, and you do it all in the same race. <laughs> and the run part was the difficult part for me. The swim part was easy. But I will tell you this. If you have never gone swimming, and I mean swimming, not floating on a raft. I mean actually swimming in the ocean uh, for, say, a, a mile, <laughs> then you... You there's there's something in this world that you have not experienced. It there is nothing like swimming in the ocean. Floating in the ocean is not the same. Hanging out on shore is not the same. But swimming in the ocean is an amazing experience. You you have to deal with the waves. You have to deal with the creatures in the ocean at the time. Um, I, I live here on the Gulf of Mexico, and so I would go swimming every Tuesday. It was open water swim every Tuesday to train for my triathlon. And um, one time, a stingray brushed up against my leg. And of course, at first I didn't know what it was, and then once I realized what it was, I was fine. But I must have come a little close to him and uh, probably scared him, and he had to get away. And then another time, several times actually, I would be swimming. And during jellyfish season, we would also get these little jellies. And they're, they're very small. They're smaller than a football. And they don't really sting. They, you can feel a little something, but it's, it's not a sting. And anyway, when it was like jelly season, um, they, they would just get caught up. I mean, like they would be on my head. They would be like on my arms. It was just like, it was like nothing you have ever experienced. And most people would be really freaked out by that. And I understand that. I have always felt very much one with the sea. And I, I just didn't let that kind of stuff bother me. So it was a real adventure. It takes a lot of nerve to go out and swim in the ocean. And my hat's off to anyone who who does that and it, it, it takes a special it takes a special person to be able to to kind of handle that and um, you know when it's choppy you're fighting the waves and you're just getting beat up by them really but I'm glad I did it I am I am glad that I did triathlon I'm glad that I did open water swimming and um, it was just it was just just amazing so anyway that those are my thoughts for um, hashtag seize the day and I hope you all enjoyed being here with me while I collaged and while I shared some of my story. Uh, thanks for watching. See you soon.